films. How many people around the world would like to live to be at least 80 years old? I think we all have this hopeful expectation of living into old age. Let's project out that into our future. And let's imagine that we are all at 85 years old. Then probably one of us will have Alzheimer's disease. And you will think, it will not be me. Then okay, you are a caregiver. In some way, this terrifying disease is likely to affect us all. Part of the fear around Alzheimer's stems from the sense that there is nothing we can do about it. Despite decades of research, we still have no disease modifying the treatment and no cure. Augusta Dieter was the first patient to be diagnosed with what we now call Alzheimer's disease. And her doctor, his name was always Alzheimer's. And that's why we call the disease like that. Let's go back to the, the last slide. Since the, the second one. <laughs> Since 1901, medicine has advanced greatly. We have discovered antibiotics and vaccines to protect us from infection. Many treatments for cancer, for heart disease, antiretrovirals against HIV, which is immune de deficiency system. But we have made no progress at all with Alzheimer's treatment. Professor Hilal Al Ashwal from Yemen. Part of a team of scientists who has been working to find a cure for Alzheimer's disease for over a decade. al Ashwa researchers focuses on clarifying the molecular mechanism of Alzheimer's patients and developing a new treatment strategies for them. The question is, what we can do to prevent Alzheimer's disease in earlier stage? And what are these mechanisms that scientists like al Ashwa working on to find the cure in the future? Here is a picture of two neurons connecting this is why circled in red is called the synapse. This is where neurotransmitters are released. This is where communication happens. This is where we think, feel, hear, see, desire, and remember. And this is where this, the Alzheimer's disease happens. Let's zoom in on the cultural representation of what's going on inside. During a business of communicating information, in addition to releasing a neurotransmitters like glutamate into the synapse, our neurons also release a small peptide called amyloid beta. Normally, amyloid beta is cleared away by microglia, the genital cells of our brains. Normally, amyloid beta is cleared away by our microglia to the synapse. Too much is released or not enough to clear the way. And when this happens, the amyloid beta is piled up to the synapse. What's happened, Barrier? Go back to the last slide. To the tipping point. Then our microglia cells become hyperactivated. Become hyperactivated, which relays a chemical that causes inflammation and cellular damage, and finally it will lead to the death. So if you were a scientist trying to find a cure for Alzheimer's, at what point you would want to intervene to prevent Alzheimer's in earlier stage? Many scientists are being paid on the simplest solution. Keep amyloid beta from reaching the tipping point, which means that in the future, drug discovery is largely focused on a compound, developing a compound that will prevent, reduce, eliminate amyloid beta from reaching the tipping point. And let me leave you with a final message. Maybe in the future, we are going to have to take the spells before we reach the tipping point and before we start leaving our kids in their regard. Thank you. Oh.